What's up, Shredders? My name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to Esper Reviews, where today uh, we got ourselves a track from an act called Lilac, and this is titled uh, In You For You. If we switch over to here, this might be uh, New For You. We got New For You by Lilac, produced by Danny Couture, Couture, recorded at Marmalade Studios. That's familiar to me for some reason, Marmalade Studios. A music video by Urk, Urk, Urk Art Productions. And we've got all the different links here as well, which is great. Special thanks to... Yeah, this is awesome. Big thanks to Wor Worcester Woo Sox. We are so sorry. <laughs> Born Dead Clothing, Valley Pub, Wittensville, MA, City News, Canada, SJC, Drums and Corn. Awesome. Let's do this. Let's uh, listen to this track from start to finish and hear what you think. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not super knowledgeable about how music videos are made, so I don't typically comment on them. But of course, um, yeah, why is this? Hang on a minute. Yeah, I was just making sure that I was in 1080p for this review because that would suck if I wasn't. Oh, it's a proposal, right? Break down, leave and watch you crying. All the flowers I bought are dying. I would say that I'm sorry. Too late for an apology. Oh damn, we're straight into it. There is no messing around. You got the you got the hi-hats with the claps. Got some kind of very eerie kind of synths going on here. Nice pad-like effect going on. Cool. I dig it. We got the SM58 going on there. That's always a good start. It's pretty cool. I, I like the tone of the guitarist coming in here. If we go back a little bit, I just want to check how they go into the mix. Yeah, the guitars are interesting. Like, um, I'm wondering if they're, they're, again, this is like maybe a stylistic thing. They sound like they could be potentially like a little bit low on the mix, but but that's a, that's okay. You know, like it could be like an in additional sort of a instrumental section or something like that, like an additional pad effect. Again, cause like clearly they can like mix, like the studio mix is fantastic. The drums and the vocals and everything like that are done really well. So I can only assume that the guitars are a little bit quieter in the mix cause that's done like intentionally. I want to sell my soul for you. I want to sell my soul. That's an interesting line. That That is a, uh, that's a heavy lyric, my dudes. Um, Someone new for you. All right. Really pretty vocal melodies and harmonies there as well. The guy's got a nice texture to his voice. And it, you know, even though like he likes to hold the notes, it still sounds quite punchy. Like, like sounds, he got a lot of presence, you know, even with those kick kicks and stuff going on. It's a really cool, it's a really cool video actually. Is this a person like changing with the people that they're in a relationship with? Oh, someone new from you, I get it. Because like when you meet a new person, like you change for them or something like that. And then, yeah, I get it. I get the vibe of this. I understand where we're going with this.
Yeah, that's interesting, eh? Like, to commenting on sort of our identity, ad- identities. That's not a word. I've been making up all sorts of words today with these reviews. And the way we have our identities when we meet certain people and how they affect us and the way that we behave and stuff is actually really interesting and really important. And um, yeah, this music is actually making me think. I like this the story being told of, like, if we go, I want to go back to the second verse and have a listen through it again. I pretend to be conflicted, you dive in and I'm addicted. That's an interesting line there. Yeah. That's an interesting line. I'm not sh- quite sure how to take that one. Oh, okay. Like, like no one's ever really known me. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is making me think. New Few is actually quite a dope track, like, lyrically. Um, I suppose maybe because I can relate to what the lyrics are about, because I know I went through some changes. And I think that there's definitely going to be an audience for this song. There'll be people that can relate to it and be like, yeah, I remember when I did that thing, and I was with that person. Because you've got, like, power chords going on with, like, just the kind of eighth note hi-hat grooves. And you've got like the bassist. Have you got a bassist? Hey, is, is, is the vocalist playing the bass? I'm checking by the, like I know I can hear a bass in the mix. The boom, 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 boom. Like I can hear that in there, but I'm seeing them play guitar. I'm kind of tripping a little bit, you know? Like, excuse me if it was shown earlier and I'm just completely spacing out right now. It's nice to have the whispering here, like, I'm getting sucked in by- the, this is a really well done music video, actually. Like, it, it's actually, like, I'm getting- I'm watching it- this is very rare that I get sucked in by a music video when I'm trying to do a review, because typically I try to sort of dis- distance myself from it. Can I go back a little bit? Okay, so we're going straight into a interlude here. These tom fills are really nice here, I really dig it. It's it's really great that we have the chance to work with those high lows and floors because when you when a lot of the sort of drumming you're doing is sort of hi-hat based, it's a very easy shift in tonality from it. It becomes very poignant. Yeah, exactly. You realize that that person who you were kind of chasing after maybe isn't good enough for you. And you only, you, you typically only learn that too late, right? Going to the halftime bit with the drums. Some arpeggios on the guitars. Dope, I dig it. I like this a lot. I think this is great, you know. Um, that realization that we were actually good enough the whole time and the other person was the one that needed to develop is, is a great turnaround, a nice shift in the thematic theme of the song. Having the, the song slow down like this is great because it sort of resembles a person considering their options and their, and their um, situation. <laughs> Uh, 
and then we won't. We do. Speaking of love hurting, uh, Erica, this is a video from earlier in the week in Massachusetts. A minor league ball game was going on. In between innings, a dude got up on the dugout and proposed to his girlfriend. First, she looks excited, but then she made a beeline out of there, oh, Erica. No. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of different angles on this one. There she is looking shocked at Bruce. You think it's going well. And then she says, no, no. Apparently she can be heard saying, I have to go. Damn. That's awkward. That's awkward. That's rough. That's brutal, dude. Good turn down like that. Not a fun time. Not, not a fun time. Um, yeah. The music, basically the song is talking about relationships. And as I said, trying to find... Us, ourselves versus the people around us and sort of figuring out where we stand in that and the various tribulations that occur with that you know there, there, there was a central sort of theme or two with the music that consisted throughout with the guitars I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a bass guitar in there but i could be tripping and then the drums and the vocals you had some overdubs and some nice kind of lead to pan things into the chorus and you had changes in the groove of it from time to time. Like went to halftime at that sort of end part just before that final chorus. So maybe the chorus was halftime. Was the chorus halftime? Yeah, I think it was um it was halftime, I think. It was halftime. Or at least it was normal time, but you had like a uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, the guy had a really nice texture to his voice. He sounded like he was calling out to the person, like he was warning the loss, but he was understanding kind of the mistakes he's made and his attempts to improve. I'm not sure whether these guys have produced more music than this, um, but I get the impression that, um, oh, cool, we've got lyrics. Breakdown, leaving while she crying, or the flowers are bought dying. I'd say I'm sorry to lay for an apology. Yeah, exactly. You can like create problems just to justify your decisions that you make. And it can sometimes be a, a terrible decision to make within doing that. I don't want to fight off the devil through the knife, but the stars are all aligned. I can be someone new for you. Damn, man. That's raw, dude. Go vibe, anarchist, anarchist superstar. Oh, my friend Sam changing. You don't like him, so I'll replace him. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this is just a horrendous relationship. There's a lot of toxicity and stuff like that. Again, I'm sure people can relate to that. I guess I wasn't good enough for you now. Got to be someone else. My wood's choking on the last one. Do you like that? Guess I wasn't good enough for you now. Got to be someone else. Guess I wasn't good enough for you. If I take a look at the start video. Who is, who is that? Who is that? That isn't the guy in the video, is it? Like, this isn't from the guy's perspective. Like, he wasn't the one that sort of proposed to this girl and then like this happens you know and then he realizes like that he's in a terrible place so he goes for this person is that the situation that occurred and they're thinking about it afterwards have i have i figured that out or am i completely off base again really really cool story although it is unfortunate and uh, sorry to hear that dude um if that's if, if that happened it's, it's, it's it sucks Hopefully you're with someone better now. Hopefully you're happier now, which is obviously the main thing. You know, we look for happiness. Again, aside from the comments I was making about the guitar, like the, the guitar tone grew on me over time. I think it just sounded a little bit quieter at the start because I wasn't used to the sound of the mix. But again, the song was structured really well. You had like verses and, and sort of choruses and interlude and all that kind of stuff. You had enough change in there to keep it engaging for the 345. And uh, yeah, that's effectively a review of, of New For You by um, Lilac. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this track, please do go check out their various uh, social medias and YouTube page. Stay cool and stay safe. And please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as you need the help more than ever. You know, with all the crazy stuff going on in the world, catch your next review. Spider hands out.